I have Corey here now doing the evaluation of the uh, Skolski Apple One, uh, taking pictures and evaluating the whole thing. It's a, quite a process from what he said to do that, and certainly interested in seeing all that. It's in okay, we're loading basic. Is that what you're loading? Yep. Basic on the original car. The, the, the original cassette of that. Okay, about the real proof. So this is like the real proof it's all running because uh, if anything's wonky, BASIC won't load, but BASIC also won't be able to remember an entire program. So <clears throat> you can get that numbered thing working, you know, where it screws the number across with a partially working machine. You can't get this working without a fully working machine and, you know, loading an entire program and showing the whole thing. And we'll run this in a minute. Which program are we actually so running? So we are running the 8K Apple Star Trek. Okay. Which, in order to run this, you need a fully working machine with BASIC. We loaded it off of the original ACI, the original Apple cassette adapter. Now I'm going to take a picture here so you can see it. Because you can't actually unplug this in the middle and plug it in so you can see. Yes. So this is original Star Trek from Apple. Yeah, this is uh, was this version was well, all pretty much all the versions. This version I think was transcribed over by Dr. Wendell Sander in 1976. Uh, it's actually how he got his job, if I if I remember the story correctly, for him at Apple was he went and showed this to Steve Jobs. So uh, and Steve Jobs said he wanted a job. It's kind of weird. Jobs said job. Um, this is all working. Uh, pretty cool. And do you mind if I use any of this video? Are you sensitive to it? Send, okay. send me whatever you're going to post before you post it so I make sure I don't look totally... The Apple ones weren't because they were wave soldered, right, predominantly. What they did was they masked out this general area, and they masked out over here, and the boards were wave soldered. So the, so the first thing you do is the boards are basically, um, the parts are held in by gravity, right? So there's a, a really interesting... Um, if you want to take a look, you want to steal my, my cheaters. I don't know how well you can not hear me, but you can actually see the puckering of you can see the puckering oh, yeah, yeah. of how it of how it goes. So that's because what happened is the board was held upside down, right? And a splash of solder was sent over the board. When the splash of solder went, gravity puckered it. Mm. Puckered pulled it down. I'm getting a good look at the back of the computer now. I'm actually checking the that everything looks wave soldered. That should be. To see if there was any soldering iron that touched this thing other than jumpers over here, which is expected. Um, other things you can do is you can date them by some of them had their, their you could tell which which person at the shop did it, right? Sometimes this is reversed the other way. Sometimes it's reversed this way. There's a lot of little telltale signs that we look for to help kind of uniquely identify. And I know you put the extra jumpers on mm -hmm. for testing with the CFFA, um, but, um, and we'll leave those on just because while they're just kind of not really 100% necessary, which useful, and they're not kind of original, the original looks like all the, all the black wires. Um, it'll help us identify the board. But, who obviously did not. The so coming down was fun. Was fun yesterday. My uh. Person. Yeah, all of us have our own unique soldering styles. Yeah. So this just wasn't done by one of them. So Jobs and Kotke were the ones who pretty much put this. In 1975 and 76 and early 77, no one had any other reason to have a computer. It was amazing. They it was to play Star Trek. They weren't useful. They weren't useful. It was to play Star Trek. No, no, I'm just being sarcastic. That's what a lot of people said. Oh, they're not useful. Yeah, so they wanted to, they wanted to play this game because you could play this game on the jet machines, right? And, and I heard that from a lot of people at the university, too. Oh, that microcomputer? Oh, yeah. They're not useful. Hold up here, look. Push cards in yeah, there. push cards in and out, yeah, yeah. 
but if you ever wanted to remove it, you can't. You have to solve. You use the solvent. So at the moment, this computer is uh, fully fully functional. Yep, fully functional. <laughs>